Do you know the difference between an inventory that you would do for the estate of a deceased person or the estate that inventory that you're required to do in case of a divorce? My name is Laura D. Hurd, and I am an attorney in San Antonio, Texas, who has practiced both probate law and divorce law since 1987. And I can tell you there are differences between the two inventories. When you are an executor of an estate and you're doing an inventory for the decedent's estate, there are some things that the decedent owned before he died that are not included because he's not considered to own them the minute he dies. And those are things like life insurance policies, 401ks, and joint bank accounts that have a named beneficiary. Those things are included on a divorce inventory because you're still alive, you still own those things and they have to be included as assets. The inventory that you do whenever you're getting divorced will include all of your assets and it will include some debts and some claims that you have. Whereas the estate inventory of a decedent's estate does not include any debts. It's only a list of assets, not debts. So there are some differences. The, the divorce inventory is going to be a lot longer, a lot more detailed. It's going to contain claims for reimbursement. It's going to contain all kinds of things that you wouldn't put on a decedent's inventory. If you have questions about what to put on the inventory, give me a call. I'd be glad to help.